everyone, it's Paige Evans, and I know this is long overdue and Fancy Free has been out for a year, but I wanted to film through all of the products, starting with the pattern papers. So there are 12 double-sided pattern papers, so 12 times 2 is 24, 24 patterns. Paper number one is this great cut-apart design, great for project life and pocket pages. So there's some sentiments, flowers, geometric designs, and on the back is a ombre blue design, so fewer triangles at the top and then more at the bottom. Paper two is this beautiful pink painterly ombre paper, great for backgrounds. I know I've used it several times as a background paper. And on the back is a colorful stitching pattern, so I have actually stitched this using coordinating colors of thread and I love the texture that it creates. Paper three is this colorful circle sentiment paper, and it's great if you punch one of the circles, there is a coordinating pattern on the back. And I will talk more about why these kinds of papers are my favorite in a little bit. Colorful polka dot paper, this one just makes my heart happy, all those colors. <laughs> and on the back is a gray painterly chevron paper. Paper five is a yellow striped paper, great for backgrounds. And on the back is a patterned striped paper, so I have um, trimmed these into strips and used them on a layout. So it looks like I used a whole bunch of different pattern papers, but I really only used one. So speaking of that, paper number six, this has become one of the standard papers in my collection, and it's squares of different patterns. So I love to use a lot of different pattern papers on my layouts, but I, I always feel like I'm wasting papers when I punch just like a small area. So this um, alleviates that. <laughs> so you can punch one piece of, or lots of different shapes, what have you, from these squares. And it looks like you're using tons of different pattern papers, but you're only using one. And on the back is a nice green ombre paper with a little crosses pattern. Paper seven is a floral paper. You can fussy cut these flowers out and use them like die cuts. And on the back is a nice dark green striped paper. Paper eight is a dark blue with light blue stripes. And on the back it's like the opposite, so there's light blue with dark blue stripes. Paper nine is painterly semicircles in all the colors. And on the back is a pink, a light pink polka dot paper, also great for backgrounds. Paper 10 is the Britt Bass Turner painterly abstract painted paper. And on the back is a light blue ombre painterly paper. So there's definitely a painter, painterly theme throughout this collection. Paper 11 are these small colorful flowers. I had a fun time fussy cutting these out, or actually my silhouette cameo did that, and using them all on a layout. On the back, painted swatches of pink and red. 12 is a colorful painted swatches, painted swatches paper. And on the back is a dark blue, or aqua, with a little chevron pattern. There's also a 12 by 12 paper pad, and it's got all 24 patterns, so the front and back of each paper, two of each one. So this is a great option if you want to get all of the papers all at once. You can just buy this handy dandy pad and you've got all of the fancy free papers. Moving on to the embellishments, there, or I guess this is still paper, <laughs> but it's a six by six paper pad. It's got 36 sheets and the patterns are scaled down, so this is great for card makers and also for punching so you get more of the pattern in a smaller area. Six by six papers are some of my favorites. Now moving on to the embellishments, here is a package of 50 ephemera pieces, and I will sort through them just a little bit so you can see better. There are hearts, tags, and half of them are transparencies, and half of them are paper. It might not be even half and half, I haven't actually counted. But a whole bunch of fun images. Love them. 
It's a beautiful mess, right? <laughs> That's the best kind. Let me get these out of the way. Move on to the next one. There is a package of wood veneer, 12 pieces. I will also show those to you. Button, flower, another button, flower. <laughs> Sensing a theme here. Ampersand, sentiment circle, couple of tabs, play, and then three of them are glittered. So a glittered heart, glittered arrow, and a glittered frame. All right, there is a package of 12 buttons, and this is one of my favorite products. They just look like candy, total eye candy. I just want to eat them. And what I've done with these, I have tied them into the spine of one of the Cop Coptic books that I love to make. And of course, I've used them on layouts. But I just wanted to share one of the different ways you could use these buttons. There's a package of, let me grab it, <laughs> layered stickers. So there's foam between the layers, another fun embellishment. Got a package of puffy stickers. I love all the bright colors. Some sentiments, great for titles, numbers, hearts, flowers, all those fun things. There is a package of 12 tags. These are great for creating layered clusters as well as journaling. I'll show those to you really quick. So there's those 12 tags, journaling spots. Moving on to the thickers, there are three sheets in this one. So there's an alphabet, alphabet, and then a whole side of numbers. And they've got nice patterns on them that coordinate with the papers. There's a package of glittered thickers, glittered thickers, aqua on the front and silver on the back. And there are string art templates. So this is a 12 by 12 meant for a 12 by 12 layout. It's a heart string art template. So you pierce a hole through the holes on the template and then you can use the template to do the string art. I do have an example of that right here. So here's a layout I've made using mostly Fancy Free as well as the buttons again. There is a smaller diamond string art template which you can use for cards or as a smaller area of embellishment on a layout. So here's the jewel brass that it comes with and some string. Another favorite is the chipboard stickers. I love these, it just coordinates so well and adds another piece of fun, <laughs> if you will. There are two page kits in Fancy Free. So sometimes my layouts look like they've taken hours to create, but this eliminates that factor. So it comes with, let me show you, a pattern paper background and then a geometric die cut and you can use the included dimensional adhesive and you place it on the back and then carefully align this on top and it looks like you've spent hours backing each piece with pattern paper when really it's all done for you. It includes some die cuts and a title so you can create a layout in like five minutes flat. So there is that page kit and there is also a heart page kit. So again, it comes with a pattern paper background and then a heart geometric shape, which you can use the included dimensional adhesive to place on top, a title, and then the die cuts. And I actually have an example with this one too. And again, I've used these buttons. I use these buttons all the time. So here's a finished layout using the page kit. I wanted to share a few examples of layouts that I've made using Fancy Free. So I've used the 6x6 paper pad to make all of these shapes, the quilt inspired backgrounds. Using that paper with all the different patterned squares. I tried to use a little bit of everything from Fancy Free on this layout. Fussy cutting those flowers. Also using a silhouette cameo and fussy cutting the small flowers. It's just stitched a stitched globe and lots of fancy free embellishments. Punch circles using all of my favorite papers, lots of pattern papers. 
And one last layout, a stitched heart clusters of embellishments using Fancy Free. So I've loved seeing all the projects created with Fancy Free, and now I'm going to go through and film Take Me Away. So I will see you again soon.